Uh, nature has always been important in my life, and uh, from extensive hiking, cycling, bicycle tours, uh, it's something that has been part of my life. And since I've been on Cyprus and the island, um, I spend a lot of time in these groves that are around us now. And uh, I cycle through them. My mountain bike trails take me through them almost you know, every time I every time I go out. I really enjoy them because they're so old. In some cases, 800 years old olive trees. They've seen a lot of history, um, especially on an island like Cyprus, where there have been so many different uh, people uh, and cultures uh, living on the island. Um, and I guess that's kind of what inspired me to write the the poem. I mean, uh, Keats wrote a poem called Ode to a Grecian Urn, in which he imagines the figures on the urn, like what kind of life they had, what they were what they were doing. And uh, he thinks about the potter who made the urn. But in this case, I was thinking about these trees. You know, what have these trees seen? Because they live longer than a, I mean, 800 years. I mean, so much happens in that time. I mean, how many armies have they seen march by? I mean, what kind of people have you know, pick their fruits uh, and eaten from them, um, you know, who has taken care of them uh, during all those years? Uh, was there a time when they were almost wild and abandoned? Or, I mean, there's all these questions. So I just felt inspired one day to, to write this poem about this particular tree and the trees in general that are here. The villagers call her the queen. So I sat at her feet and stared into her open trunk. Five hundred years, maybe six, she and her court stood as sentinels in this valley. I can't keep my mind from asking the Keatsian obvious. Who played here? Which armies marched past? Who has eaten your fruit? King Richard? Phoenician traders? Simple, small thoughts inspired by a living being from another time a reminder of our hubris and slow suicide. Strange how comforting it is to sit at the feet of a queen.